Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Rodeo Girl Zombie Roundup. And hello to you too, Miss Rainbow Dash. I don't know, it, it looks like the girl in the back's got a, a rainbow fringe in the background. You know, what with all the silly grindhouse filters they put on this thing. So you see how Aya is trying to kill... somebody? Saki, maybe? I don't know. At this point in Ryo Futaba's story, it turns out that Ryo just feels compelled to kill her sister. She's being drawn into the temple, not of her own volition, but as though somebody is controlling her subtle nod and wink towards the fourth wall, am I right? Yeah, but really though, Futaba's story is mostly just, well, the game requires we be at a temple now, and so here we are. And Noel, you may live. That's that zombie's name, by the way, Noel. And I'm not gonna kill him this time. But soon. Soon, you cocky undead jerk. So this is, is stage six. Abandoned temple and the cycle of blood. Ew. <laughs> I know that's inappropriate. It's like, uh... I don't know, something. I don't know, I just finished a 12 hour night shift, I am so tired, and I'm not functioning properly, and I can't write analogies properly, and I'm like, a guy, with a thing. And if you're wondering why I don't just go to bed, then I'm wondering that too. But I tried, and all I can really do is lie there, and think of going to work, or killing zombies. And I know which of the two I would rather do. And surprisingly it's not work. Which is what I usually do on my days off. I sit about thinking, man, I could be doing so much work right about now. And if only work tied in with tearing out people's hearts like that, that'd be cool. So hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play a Game that I've been playing so much lately that just last night I had a dream where I was surrounded by zombies. Although, surprisingly, it's not what you might think that it was. As I ran around the town to find the girl, I don't know which girl, but, but the girl, the zombies were very, very polite and courteous about the whole thing. Like, they, they got out of my way, they apologized for bumping into me, and one of them had a little cart, like a, a bin man cart. And from this, she pulled and dispensed all the rare items and, and the exotic parts for the cool weapon combos I could make. I, I ended up duct taping two leaf blowers together and making a hurricane gun. And... Do you know what? This farcical grip on the way that physics works is probably why I will never be a cartoonish supervillain. But, really, until somebody wises up and just makes mankind has yet to recognize my genius already, then I'm gonna have to use my dreams to improvise. And speaking of cartoonish supervillains, my mum picked up a new biscuit tin recently. Or, you know, a cookie jar if you're American and, and you think the biscuits are made out of bread. Which they aren't, because what you think biscuits are is pretty much just scones that you've made wrong. Anyways, no, she picks up a biscuit tin, except it's a musical one. So if you want to open it up and sneak something out, then you have to listen to the strains of We Wish You a Merry Christmas as you do it. So you can't sneak stuff out. Which would probably be a brilliant ploy if I was three, but... I'm 25, and I don't care. Uh-oh, look out. We got ourselves a badass over here, Dot JPEG. Actually, I think that tearing that guy's heart out was more badass than... Biscuits. I'm also playing a lot of Child of Eden lately, which is every bit as trippy as I had expected that it would be. And... In addition to that, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon, of all things. And I thought that 
that I had broken free of its sticky and obsessive compulsive web, but alas, I have not. And the reason being is actually pretty tragic if you think about it. Or don't think about it because it is pretty tragic. And okay, so this New Year's Eve, I get a call from my boss. And she says that the alarm is going off at work and somebody needs to go investigate it. And I'm somebody. Apparently the only somebody on the planet, apparently. So I had to go into work on midnight New Year's Eve. And I know I'm going to spend a lot of, you know, a long time there. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to take my Game Boy. Game Boy. Really, Andy? Game Boy. Way to date yourself. I took my DS Lite with Pokemon Black. And because there were no jobs for me to do, what with it being four in the morning, I figured, you know what? I'm going to play Pokemon. And I spent way too much time overthinking the Pokemon as I did it. Like, why is it they keep giving Pokemon previous forms? Devolutions, if you must. Because... It's absolutely stupid to me. Why would you work to get a weaker version of something that you already have? Nice try, monkey. No cigar. But yeah, the evolutions are pointless. And on the other hand, why do they keep giving evolutions and advanced forms to the stupid Pokemon that nobody cares about? Like, I am absolutely sure that Somebody thinks it's awesome that Yanma and Roselia got an upgrade, but... You know who I want to see get an upgrade? Pinsa. And if you're not familiar with Pokemon, then... Pinsa is a five-foot-tall bipedal stag beetle. And it's also an absolute powerhouse. And it has the skills to pretty much take on a full party on its own. And... Basically, I want the gigantic, walking, spiky, beetle death tank to become even more horrifying. And if you're not familiar with Pokemon, how on earth have you survived on Mars since 1996? By the way, Pokemon came out in 1996. And that should make me feel old as it does, because I'm only 25, but it does. And I'm going to collect these orbs. I don't need to, but... Look at them all, big and EXP-ish and taunting me by being there. And why has the room not opened, game? Anything else you want to add there? Alright. Alright, I get it. I'll turn this thing off and go to bed. Good night, everybody. Oh, morning. Good morning, I guess, because it's like 10 o'clock. Yeah. See ya!